Hey guys, Zurex here. Welcome back to my Hypixel Skyblock API related video. It's going to be episode 3 in my series. I know it's a bit of a chore over the past two episodes just because we're doing a lot of necessary setup, but now we can actually get going into it. I've got a very simple task for this episode. I want to try and estimate the amount of money that is being circulated in the Hypixel Skyblock economy at any given time. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do that all in this episode because that would take hours. Um, so instead, I'm going to do a small portion of that much larger goal. Now, to do this, uh, it, it requires a bit of problem solving. So first, you got to think, like, what are the main ways that people trade gold um, or trade coins, I guess, gold coins, whatever the, whatever people call the Skyblock economy value, like currency. And um, the two main ways, uh, from what I thought of, I don't really play Skyblock that much, but the two main ways from what I hear is the bazaar and the auction house. Now, the auction house, I haven't looked into it too much, so that's going to be another episode. Today, we're going to be focusing on the bazaar. Uh, now, the reason why we're going to be focusing on the bazaar is because I found on the docks that there's just a handy little bazaar tool here. So, there's uh, if you come on the docks, if you're just going to browser and type in api.hypixel.net, press enter, you can go on the docks, and then I just clicked on Skyblock here, and I went down to bazaar. Um, normally, when you show up, it'll look like this. Uh, this is what it looks like when you first show up. So you're just going to click Skyblock, and then we're going to go Bazaar. Uh, and what it does, I'll show you what it looks like. So you'll get a pop-up like this when it last got updated and all this. And you can open up products. It has a list of every product on the Bazaar uh, that can be traded. And for every item, there's some data. Now, the amount of raw coin um, that is in here. So generally, when you set up a buy order, I believe, uh, you have to give up the coin. So let's say I want to put a buy order for... Uh, 10 Xerox uh, merch shirts, okay? And each one costs $10. That's $100 that I'd have to give up to put in that buy order for those 10 shirts. And this works similarly. Um, so you can see buy summary. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. So buy summary, uh, you can see the amount that they're wanting to buy and um, the uh, price per unit that we pay. Now there is a section number, which is the amount of orders, but those combine into these, so it doesn't actually matter. We're not supposed to do like times two on this. This isn't actually double this amount. This is the full amount, but it's spread across two different people trying to buy, or at least two different orders. That could be the same person. And you can see each item has like however many of these, anywhere between like I guess zero and I, I think I've seen up to like thirty or whatever. Um, so we're going to be writing the code for that today. Uh, today you get to follow along with me, and we're going to write that code. Now we're going to be following the same format. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, this is what we ended with last episode. Make sure you go check that out, like down in the description for the playlist. I'm going to be adding another function here. This new function is going to be very simple. It's just going to give us the bizarre data. So we're going to make a new function. We're going to call it def get bizarre data and it's not going to take in anything because we don't need to give it our api key or anything um, to handle that and uh, in there we're just going to do very similar to what we did here but instead of typing in all this fancy stuff we don't need to put in a uuid we don't need an api key we don't need any of that junk uh, so we can just go straight into https um, colon four slash four slash api dot hypixel dot net slash skyblock slash bizarre i believe that's what it is right that looks about correct and when you're done that we're going to add a little header for it so we don't forget what this does so we're just going to write that it returns oh returns bizarre data okay now that we're done that uh, we're going to go ahead and make another function that then uses that data. So this can be a bit of a mess, but try and follow along as best you can. So we're going to be calling this super long name. It's going to be get bizarre by order value. So it's the current amount of value or the current um, summed economy that is in buy orders on the bazaar right now. And of course, to do all this math, on the items, we need to actually get the items. Our way of getting the items is through this function we just wrote. Um, so it does take in a variable that we're going to call bizarre data that we're just going to get generated using this other function here. Okay. Now, in that, we're, we're just going to somehow get the sum of coins 
So we're going to start with some amount, uh, which is going to be zero, and then we're going to add to that. And at the end, we're just going to return that sum of coins, OK? So we're going to start with zero, uh, like a counter at zero. And then there's going to be like a ton of math, and then um, this. Now, the math isn't too complicated, so don't worry about that. It's just going through every single uh, product and getting all the buy order value from it. Um, so now here, uh, we're going to add a header for this. So this is just so that we always know what this is. So if we come back in the future, we know what this does. This can be returns. Uh, what should we write? Total, total coin count in buy orders on bazaar or on the bazaar. Uh, coin count seems clunky to write, but it is what it is. Um, now down here for the math. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get every product. So I'm going to go back and show you guys here just in case we forgot briefly. We're, we need to go into products and then go through every single item here using a for loop. And then for all those items, go in the bizarre summary and go through all those items. And now the amount of money is just going to be the amount times the price per unit. Now we've got to be careful because uh, you can't really see it here. What's a product that I know might give funky stuff? So for example, for Cactus, I think has a funky one. Come all at the bottom here. Yeah, so someone put somehow put up a buy order for this amount. I'm not sure if this is a bug um, or what, but we want to exclude this. Um, so like junk like this, like we don't want dumb stuff like this that's like not actually money that someone put into the economy. Um, so we need to add a fix for that. So our fix for that is just going to be taking the first number, which is always going to be the lowest because it's sorted, and then just only going up to 10% above that. So 10% past the current amount that people are willing to buy it, um, or the, the, the highest price that people are willing to pay. Um, so now we need to loop through. So first off, we need to loop through all the products. So to do that, there's two things for each product that we really care about. There's going to be the name of the product, uh, or the name of the product in the API, then it's going to be the data associated with that product. So we're going to do four, and then we're going to do uh, item name is one of the things we want. And the second thing we want is going to be the item data. And to get both of those, we need to go into bizarre data. And then you could go here and do products, but this is a little clunky and it's prone to errors. Um, so we're actually going to do dot get products and if that fails we want to get an empty dictionary and then because we want to get both the keys and the values of that dictionary uh, right now it would just be returning the item name um, we wouldn't be getting our item data we'd have to do that separately so to get both we just do dot items so now this loop is going to give us all of the item names and the associated data with those items now, for each of these, I think I'm wanting in the future to not just have a total sum, but to be able to see which specific items have the most money invested in them. So I want to also be getting, not just throwing into this sum, but I want to also just be getting the per item amount. So how much for every single item. Um, I'm hoping I maybe do some fun stuff like uh, with this data in the future. Um, so I think it's just handy to have. So we're actually going to ha have a separate count here that's going to be item sum coins. It's going to be the same thing as sum coins, but it's actually just going to be for um, the specific product that we're looking at at that time. It's not going. It's just going to be like the sum for that product, not going to be the sum for the entire bazaar buy orders. Now we want to add some uh, comments here, just to try and keep it a little more organized. Um, so for here we're going to be uh for every uh, every product uh, and then we're gonna set this equals to zero um and then we're gonna add another for loop here so for every product then we have to go through every buy order but we also want to save the price of the lowest buy order or the best current buy order um, and this is because, like I said, with the clunky stuff where like some people have buy orders for like 100 trillion or whatever, we don't want to include that. I already checked if you do include those, I think the total amount of economy it said was uh, f five times 10 to the power of 17, which uh, that's like, 
a million 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 something like that or like a billion billion uh, i'm not too sure um anyways it's obviously not the correct amount so we want to try and remove those so i'm going to be doing that so to do that we need to get the index as well um so we're going to be getting index and the buy orders um and and then to get the index we're going to do enumerate and then the thing to enumerate is going to be uh, item data so over each item data uh, dot get that's going to be the buy summary um and then if that fails just give us a normal list i don't really care just give us a list now we want to do two different things so sorry this is going to be uh for every buy order so this is for every product and now we're looping through the buy orders wanna if it's the best price uh so if idx is equal to zero um then we want to go ahead and we're going to do two things here we're going to set or like initialize the value so this is like the real expected or instead of real value we're going to do expected value um so it's like the value that we sort of expect the following orders um to sort of follow i guess as let's say the first order is five dollars per item uh, we don't think the next one is going to be like a billion dollars per item. We want it to be like close, you know, uh, preferably within like some threshold. We can set like 20% or whatever. Um, as we want to initialize this, so this is just going to be equal to the buy, the current buy order. Um, and then we're going to get its price uh, per unit here. And then if that fails, just give us zero. Um, and then for the next one, we're going to be getting the item uh sum of coins uh sorry we already have that we're going to be adding to it i should say uh we're going to be taking the current price but we're also going to be timesing it by the um the amount so this here instead of price per unit they're just going to be amount right is this that's not how you type amount this is how you type amount my bad <laughs> all right um so now we're done that if it's not the best price, um, if it's not the best price, price uh, check for reasonable price. Okay. So else, uh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Uh, else it's gonna be if the current uh, price per unit um, for the current order that we're looking at, if this amount is let's say less than uh we can set our threshold to be like 1.2 times um we can actually set that up here so we'll do threshold um uh price increase threshold this can be like 1.2 times um so an extra like 20 percent higher if it's less than the, uh this threshold times the expected value um so if it's like a reasonable price if it's within 30 like 20 percent which is our current threshold um of like the the good price the best price then we'll include it otherwise don't bother um and we can play around with this threshold uh later on i'll show you if i put it at zero then we're only going to get the best prices possible for our items so we're going to have a really low estimate and then the higher we increase the threshold the better the estimate until a certain amount where then we get really harsh diminishing returns uh, where it actually becomes a worse estimate really quickly um and then of course on top of doing that uh no sorry once we we, we verify that we then want to go ahead and add the the sum if it's reasonable and if it's not reasonable then we just don't care um yeah so it's that and i think we're done for that section and then here after we're done getting the all the buy orders i'm just going to add a print line here so this is very simple it's just going to give us the data so it's going to show us like the numbers per item uh, i'll show you guys what this looks like later here um so we're going to put in the item name and then let's say we want to get like the price uh so we'll do like item some what is it uh item some coins for that item yeah, yeah there we go um and then right after that we're just going to add to the some coins our current item sum so to we're going to add the sum for our current product to the overall um sum and this should be all good so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run this so to run this we need to use this function 
and this function takes in something else and the other thing it's expecting is the bizarre data so we can use our get bizarre data function to do that i'm gonna go ahead and run this and so if i run this i'm gonna show you guys here this is what we get hopefully i can show you guys there we go this is what we get um, so you can see we have every single item, there's a lot of them, and next to it, so let's say this item right here, Hearthstone, the current estimated value of Hearthstone, the current amount of coins in buy orders for Hearthstone right now is just about 7.5 million, not a lot. Um, you can see some items are very high, what is this, Flawless Amber Gem, there's a lot, there's one, one and a quarter billion coins in that right now. Uh, you can see some other items. We got about 90, 90 mil and summoning eyes. That's a very common item. Uh, Bizarre cookie zero. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, so yeah. Anyways, the current estimate right here is about nearly 56 billion. Now I can show you guys if we go ahead and oh, if we go ahead back in our code. I'm gonna hide this for a second here. If we increase our threshold, so let's say 1.5. This should, I think a good estimate is probably going to be like two here. Two, two is, is going to be a good threshold. Um, I can then show you guys here again. We're just going to run the file again here. Uh, so this is actually a much better estimate already. We've got about 61 billion. So if you had 61 billion purse, you have as much money as all the reasonable buy orders on the bazaar right now. It's kind of insane. It makes us think that we're not so far away from being one one percenters ourselves. Am I right, guys? Uh, laughing on all the poor folk out there who don't even have 600 mil purse right now. Uh, that's not to say, that's not to say you, you shouldn't watch my videos if you don't have at least 600 mil purse. Though. Uh, speaking of which, make sure to subscribe if you want to watch uh, more videos like this. Hopefully, uh, we can get on with more cool projects. That said, I'm running out of ideas, so either join the Discord link in the description and submit ideas and suggestions uh in, in there in the discord or leave a comment down below as simple as that take two seconds of your day you think of a good idea that you want to tutorial for that's related to the hypixel skyblock api go ahead comment down in the description uh, hopefully i can get around to it if i think it's a good idea uh, while you're at it leave a like uh, if you enjoy the video anyways that's all i've got for you i'll see you guys next time peace